where did this dinner shit I don't know. I really because don't know. Is that how you eat? Yeah, that's how I eat. Yeah, yeah. But why? Because I had fake teeth. But I don't now. Uh, big up Turkey, big up UK smiles. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, I had fake teeth, so I couldn't eat at the front of my mouth. And so basically, I'll put the food at the back of my mouth. But I'm a very quick eater. I don't like eating. Yeah, but your gut must be f***ed. Uh, probably, but that's how I eat. So my dad done me a roast dinner one day. And with TikTok, you've got to trigger people. So to get your views, the engagement. My dad was like, look, you have you put ketchup on everything. Big up the ketchup. Big up Heinz. I'm still waiting on the sponsorship, isn't it? So yeah, so with, with that, I just had a roast dinner. I went ketchup all over. Dinner. That done well. I thought, hold on, I've got the same here. So I carried on doing it, doing it. Put reggae sauce on stuff. And yeah, next thing you know, that's just what I'm known for. And then the one that blew up and got 20 mil views was the potato. Little, a little tip for anyone, if you actually want to get views on videos, 15 seconds max on a TikTok video. Really, do you reckon? More, yeah. Long, long, long form content, don't get views. What's going on guys? This video is sponsored by Louis. Some of you know him on Insta as Loads, one of the best Instagram names, let me tell you that. Guys, Louis has been building online businesses for the last five to 10 years and he has spent the last five years coaching others one-to-one -one on how to start businesses. Louis's got over 2,000 profitable testimonials and guys, let me be honest with you, I wouldn't let someone sponsor the show who I didn't vouch for. So trust me, it's legit. Literally, just go send him a DM on Instagram, it's at Loads. All you gotta do is say to him, I come from the Blue Tick Show, help me make some money. And I know most of these people out there scams and there's plenty of people out there offering you millions and millions of pounds and stuff like that. Louis is one of the 1% who actually do it properly. Legitly, you don't need nothing. All you literally need is a phone and Wi-Fi. Send him a message and leave the rest to him. Guys, and if you want to know why I'm sitting here pushing it so much, it's because realistically, doing a nine to five ain't going to get you nowhere. And I know most people sit here and say this because they're getting some sort of commission for it and stuff like that, but I really ain't. I'm telling you as a good person, the host of the show, doing a nine to five ain't going to get you nowhere. So go message Louis, say you come from the boutique show, just ask Louis for the business model, let him do the explaining and let him explain to you how he can help you. I'll see you soon. What's going on guys and welcome back to the Blue Tick show. Opposite me today, I've got two very special guests. Bevo and Sophia, the TikTok couple now. How are you both? Yeah, good. No, good. We're getting there. We're getting there. Getting there, yeah. All right. So I want to first question I want to ask you lot. Are you a real couple? Yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Like genuinely. Yeah, genuinely. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't just a little TikTok thing. You're no, not doing no, no. it for clout. You're not doing it for nothing like that. You're a genuine couple. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. How did you meet? At the Modine fight. It's the Modine General G fight. So I do put my hands up. I was still with Sydney at the time, but it was rocking. I knew it was going to end, so... I started chatting to Sophia and then, yeah, we was DMing until the breakup and then, yeah, we had a little plan with the shots that HS done and we met up and then, yeah, we went from there. So yeah. it was good. So before we dive into the whole TikTok side of the world yes. and all of that. The dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Let me start off with you first. On, Tell us a little bit about your upbringing. Where did Bevo appear from? What was it all about? I don't know. As I say, as a kid, I've always, I've always had the motivation to do something. I've, I mean, TikTok wasn't my first thing that I tried. I'd done YouTube as a kid. I had my own esports team. Um, I've always had something in me to do well, you know, and I've always said that I want to I wanna be out there. Uh, Bevo, like, my name come from, my second name's from my second name's Beavis, so, okay. so it was a nickname Bevo, always as a kid had. Um, yeah, and then at the end of 2022, I said, look, I need a good 2023, big up 2023, that's where the big up comes from. Um, I started doing comedy singing just as a laugh, getting on TikTok, why not? Um, literally within a month I blew up I think I quit my job within two months how much was you making from TikTok to start um, at the start it was all based on like cameos and like basically sponsorships like people paying me because TikTok didn't pay well at the time um, so I was making enough just because I was renting a room I had enough to basically pay my rent and get by which was lovely do you know what I mean I ain't yeah, got get working up, for like, yourself as well I used to do demolition and it was horrible getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning getting home at 8 o'clock of the night do you know what I mean so it was lovely to do that Joe was obviously it was excited but towards the summer it sort of died down do you know what I mean with TikTok you're very trendy one minute next thing you're not so I was worried I had to move back home I had a bit of a depression stage where I just thought oh, should I carry on with TikTok no more um, and then my pal Aggie said, look, TikTok are paying more money now on the views. Get Which back on Aggie? it. Uh, Aggie the Gift on TikTok. Okay, I know yeah. Aggie. I've known Aggie years. Yeah, no, Aggie, Aggie's a good guy. Um, Shout out to Aggie. No, he did. And so my mum kicked me out because she said that I've had enough of you. Oh, for real? Do you know what I mean? I've had enough of you just laying about playing PlayStation all day. You need to get up, sort, sort yourself out. So big up mumsy. She knows the rules. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she, she helped me out. And then I went and stayed with Aggie, done content, 
TikTok was paying mad money now. They are now anyway, so they're paying a lot more for views and whatnot. So yeah, from there on, and then I started just doing any sort of videos. The next thing you know, I'm doing dinner videos. And so, where did this dinner? Shit I don't know. I because really don't know. Is that how you eat? Yeah, that's how I eat. Yeah, yeah. But why? Because I had fake teeth. But yeah, I but don't now. Uh, big up Turkey. Big up UK smiles. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, yeah. No, I had fake teeth, so I couldn't eat at the front of my mouth. And so basically, I'll put the food at the back of my mouth. But I'm a very quick eater. I don't like eating. Yeah, but your gut must be fucked. I, probably, but that's how I eat. So. But you genuinely don't chew. No, I chew like a couple of times, the bare minimum. Like when we're out, isn't it? Yeah, like two chews and that's it's, it. it's just down. It is. That's, How that's do you keep up eating with him? You must be still chewing. He's like, fucking finish your plate. <laughs> well, what was the last time we did Duck and Waffle last Yeah. Time, really? I, I we're finished, in Duck and Waffle. He I finished, finished within like... Well before. She was sitting there still Two eating. minutes. And what about like genuinely like stomach pains? No, no, nothing. No, I'm fine. But that's just normal, isn't it? When you do something normally, it's just... Well, you don't chew your... What about now with the teeth? I'm still frightened because they're new. I'm getting there. I'm slowly. I'm chewing a bit more, but I'm trying to teach myself to. But when you're, when you, when you're so used to doing yeah, something, yeah, so it's normal, isn't it? It is normal, no you know? Different so, Yeah, it's hard, but I'm trying to teach myself because I know long term. And but, why did you have the? What happened? Was there an incident that happened, or what, you just always had to just stop chewing? Chew, what we chew? Yeah, why weren't you chewing? Just because of the same when I had my fake teeth in, I was so frightened of them pinging out or because I had bridges in. Okay. So okay, I was so frightened okay. of them pinging out and. So you were just whatnot. chewing one, two, and yeah, just yeah, swallowing. just yeah. Yeah, back of my mouth, yeah. Right. But look, so. realistically, you've smashed it on TikTok now. Oh, yeah, as I say, so going back to the storyline, so basically, my dad done me a roast dinner one day, and with TikTok, you've got to trigger people. So to get your views, the engagement, my dad's like, look, you have you put ketchup on everything. Put ketchup on your roast yeah, you're dinner. you're weirdo, mate. I, I love it. I'm big up the ketchup, <laughs> big up Heinz. I'm still waiting on the sponsorship, <laughs> innit? So, um, yeah, so with, with that, I just had a roast dinner. I went ketchup all over, dinner. That done well. I thought, hold on, I've got something here. So I carried on doing it, doing it, putting reggae sauce on stuff. And and yeah, next thing you know, that's just what I'm known for. And then the one that blew up and got 20 mil views was the potato, where I chewed the potato twice. I've gone. <laughs> and yeah, no, and then next thing you know, it's just, it's all it's all gone lovely from there. So I'm doing very well. And yeah, no, it's nice. The thing is, as well, I think with TikTok as well, it's all about momentum. Yes. Once you've got it, you just got to push it. it and I think that's what you're doing right now as well. Like, even down to getting the new girlfriend, the fights, all of it is just. It's people just like are just a, so invested in people's lives. It's, it's a domino effect. Yeah, hundred percent. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, no, I enjoy it. I enjoy it at the moment. As I say, certain things I can't do now because of where I'm at. But I guess it's part of the game. I mean, I'm earning the money. Do you know what I mean, it's going to happen, you know. So it's yeah, I enjoy it. So I always stop for pictures. Or I have a lot of respect for people that watch me. So yeah, no, I'm happy, and I'm just happy to be in the position where I'm at. So. Um, regarding Sydney, how long would you have Sydney for? Seeing her three months with her two months, um, I just feel like I gave her too much too early. Oh, what, is that what it was? What do you mean? What? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, I went with her long, but I knew her from school, so it was. It wasn't like it was just. I some... thought you and Sydney was like a long thing. It seemed like a long thing. I thought you lot were together from like fucking it, young. It come to it because I say, um, like, where I gave her so much and she's demanding more, and the clout got to her head, and it's just like I can't be dealing with this. Shit. It's just not. That's why I said like when I was chatting to Sophia, I was just like, I know it's gonna end. I just it's so rocky at the moment. So I slept with her once in three months. You know what I mean? Like you slept with her once, once in, in three, three months. months. I'm open about it because it just it just makes her look a fool. If and anything. whose fault was that? You your no, I was fine in a relationship. No, then who? didn't want it it was down to her she, because where she had children like she's had children uh, well had one child sorry um, she was like oh just I'm not on it like that uh, if, if you want someone else go find someone else but it's very toxic and don't go too deep into it oh, but it, it was a very toxic relationship do you reckon the cloud got to her head yeah 100% I'll put her on the map I made her quit a job she's working in Taco Bell for £800 a month and now she's earned well I'm not going to say how much she's earning but she's earning a lot a lot Good more money. just on TikTok then she's picked the OF side which fair enough how does that make you feel truthfully? I don't care with OF because, as I say, at the end of the day, I said to Sophia, like, as long as you're coming home to me, I but don't care what you do. You did have feelings for Sydney, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But it's how she done it out of spite, yeah. running off with HS, doing that picture. You got any drama with HS? No, Is no, there no, any... no. Listen, we're boys with business run at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? She's the pawn in the game, unfortunately. So she's done it to herself. She's she shot herself in the foot. So this is let it crack on. Good luck to her. I'm Fair moving enough. on. That's how it is. Listen, I don't think... Truthfully, you can't be annoyed at the, at the OnlyFans thing. At OnlyFans, but you can be annoyed at the way she'd done it. Yeah, no. It's, I think it's, that the way she'd done it's wrong. Uh, with how much I gave her, I gave her free holidays. I bought... I spent thousands on clothes. I paid her rent. I bought her a dog. The amount of stuff I'd done, 
for her to, we broke up on the Friday and for her to go on OF on the Saturday. Yeah, it's bad. Do you know what I mean, if you're a month down the line and you're skint and then you might talk to me like, uh, or whatever, no, not even talk to me, just go on there like a month later. Fair enough, but the next day. Do you know what I say? When you're in a relationship, I think there's a cooling off period as well. If you're with someone and it's actually a relationship and you split up, I think you've got to have like, there's got to be a certain amount of days where... But I feel like, as I told you, there it was very toxic yeah. in the last two weeks of the relationship. Yeah, she just... It was game over anyway, to be honest. You know, I mean, It was just hard letting go. That was all where we both do the same job. We we're both together every day. You was involved in each other's like lives. Completely. Yeah, every day. I was right. I've seen her every day. So why don't we inv- invite your new girlfriend to the, to the show now? Here we go. Hey. Uh, how are you firstly? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, thank you. So you're the new girlfriend on TikTok. To be fair, like I don't do TikTok myself. Um, like I'm, everyone keeps saying like clout chase and money grab and all that kind of bullshit, but I've got my own money and I've got my own name, so I don't really. Listen, you do OnlyFans. So you making money? Yeah. Clearly. And now you're with Bevo, you're probably making a lot, lot more. It's actually went down. Really? Yeah, we yeah. had this conversation. We had this conversation because everyone keeps saying, oh yeah, you're only doing it for like Euro F subs, blah, blah, blah. But it's actually went down since. Okay, well, let's... And I'm still here. Let, let's hear it all <laughs> again. Let's hear your childhood, your upbringing. Let's hear why you got into OnlyFans. And then we'll talk about your lots of lives together. Where are you from? What area? Who are you? Um, So, Sophia. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm from Durham, so near Newcastle. Okay. Um, upbringing... Absolutely perfect. Mum, dad, brother. Um, yeah. OnlyFans, what smooth. made you get into it? Um, It's a bit of a weird one with me. Basically, I had sex with someone and they leaked it. Um, and they leaked it? Yeah. Wow, okay. Um, And then I just, obviously everything was already there. So I was like, oh, well, I might as well True. make some make money some off money it myself. Off it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, I've never understood boys that expose girls. Truthfully. Yeah. I don't understand it. Was he a partner? No. Oh, that's even worse then. Yeah. yeah. That's even worse. But look, you're now involved in this TikTok drama. Yeah? Yeah. Like, they've had boxing matches over Bevo. They've done it all. Yeah. <laughs> he's fucking the main man, apparently. Apparently. Like, he's the main man. Everyone wants him. I didn't actually know who he was until I met him at that um That's what I liked event. as well. I liked that's the good. fact that she didn't even know me. It was. It was so what happened fresh. when you lot first met? I want to hear it from your side. I was just pissed when I, you were just there staring at us when I had yeah, no, it. Event. I had one of the girls on like my shoulders and stuff and he was there giggling, got a video of that. Um, how'd you get, how'd you exchange details? Um, just Instagram. Just Instagram yeah. really. Who DM'd who? You DM'd me. You DM'd him? Yeah. Thought you didn't know who he was? I didn't until I got his Instagram at that thing, but I asked Holly who he was because I like, Bevo, obviously there was pulled, a video. Bruv? She DM'd you, you got girls DM'ing you, yeah? Fair enough. <laughs> But it's a, it's big now. Everyone knows you're like a couple. I'm guessing everyone thinks it's fake. Everyone thinks you're chasing That's the, the annoying money. thing. But also we've had the conversation. I said to her, look, I'm not worried. I don't need to put you on my TikTok. And so yeah, people know we're together. Is said. it annoying? Like, does it piss you off when you genuinely are in an actual real relationship and everyone thinks it's fake? Yeah. A bit, yeah. Listen, the haters get you paid, so yeah. why not? Why True. Don't, yeah, you hate all you want. So it's just, if you're going to comment, it's just getting me more views. It's getting me paid. So listen... <laughs> think it's fake <laughs> that's it that's all it is isn't it do you know what I mean so yeah has Sydney reached out since little moan moan dear and there I say I've, I've finally blocked her on everything now because it was just unfair on Sophia like it just comes to the stage where I'm not out of like spite but it's more I'm checking up on her to see how she's doing because generally I do care like I don't want her to get manipulated I don't want her to get used but it comes to the stage where she's dug her own grave and it's just like lie in it now I've I, I moved on I'm happy I think she moved I think she's with someone else now I don't know if that was a TikTok oh, really? video I don't know it ain't confirmed but yeah I just thought okay that's, you've moved you. on that's it that's it now so I'm not I'm not going to moan I'm not going to bring up the past like good luck all the best I'll see you later and that's, that's just how it's got to be so and what do you think about all the TikTok drama especially down to them having a boxing match like this, a lot of it's all fake I will come out and say this uh, this if you believe the TikTok drama you're just deluded yourself and say I. but they had a fight yeah, yeah, but I I cheated on Sydney with Cheyenne for views. Do you know what I mean? Listen, HS is a very clever guy. I respect him, but his master plans have backfired. And do you know what I mean? It has it's backfired on myself. Do you know what I mean? So it is what it is. But a lot of this is a lot of the drama is bullshit. I'll be real. Do you know no, I, mean? I hear that. I agree with that. And listen, 
everything we're doing, even this podcast here, it's all for entertainment purposes. Yes, yeah, 100%. But they had a fight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Do you well, know no, what I mean? Yeah. Like, they actually... Why, got, why did they have a fight, though? To boost their OF. They're yeah, both yeah. on OnlyFans. To boost their OF. Yeah, and and did, did they did collab ha- after? Yeah, what did HS say after? Uh, then we collabed? Yeah, they, they got it on. So, yeah, of course, it's all for promo. man. It's all for promo. <laughs> well, that's a bit mad, mate. Like, getting punched in the face to get a bit paid. Like, <laughs> Fuck me, it's a bit, bit extreme. I think Sydney come out with a black light as well. Really? Yeah, she well, she got paid from it. She made some good money. She must have, no? She did get paid for the fight. No, no, no of course, but from the subs, everyone. Well, like... apparently, but I've heard she's earned this, she's earned that, and then she's only getting this and that. So yeah. I don't know what to believe anymore, to be honest. But this is say good luck to her. Let's... So let me ask you a genuine question, Bevo. Go on then. You're going to make content with Sophia on OF? No, because I'm keeping my brand clean, to be honest. You're keeping your brand clean. My okay. brand's good, very clean. Good, yeah. good man. Good man. Good man. Would you consider it in the future? Who knows? Say in a year's time, it might be irrelevant. You know what I mean? So we'll, we'll see. But at the minute, I'm trying to look at longevity. I'm trying to get on the YouTube scene. I'm trying to trying to get the brand deals. I'm trying to get stuff, you know. So I say nothing against what she does. I say oh, I don't care because if she can earn money and there's a market there, as long as I'm coming home to her and she comes home to me, they're paying for it. I'm not, so... But there is limitations on what you allow, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't expect yeah, like, we've, we've already that. Yeah, we've that. You must have gone through it and said, yeah, da, 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 yeah. Da. as long as she's not sleeping with other men. And I think that's that's what makes a massive difference. That's the difference. main thing, really. Yeah, yeah, that's what makes a massive difference to actually having an OnlyFans girlfriend is understanding each other's boundaries. Yeah, 100%. Knowing what the limitations are, just making sure you're both clear yeah, she, on it. She's done it to me as say, I can't make content with other girls, this and that. So it's fair, isn't it? It goes, yeah. it goes either way. So I, I, I'm she's respectful. Yeah. Yeah. Why is he not allowed to make content with other girls? Like normal content. Surely he is. No, I wouldn't. But out of respect, I wouldn't. That's just me Serious? as a person. I wouldn't. If I'm with someone, I'm with someone. Like Sydney done it. Sydney wouldn't let me make videos with like other people and stuff like so that. How but did I respect the Cheyenne it. scandal come around? You becoming Cheyenne's girlfriend? Because when I saw that, no. Girl, so I, I, we, so me, me and Sydney were in the back of a cab, and I got a DM off HS saying, "Oh, do you want to fight on this midweek madness?" But I said, "I've got a, I've got a miss it still in July. I'm fighting Danny Aaron." So, oh really? Yeah. I never knew about that. Yeah. It's, well, this is pretty much the first place I've said it. So, oh, big up the clips. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm, fight- <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm fighting Danny Aaron's in July. You reckon you're knocking out? Okay, listen, I win or lose, I'm there for Pick content. Yourself up, man. No, no, I will, no, I will. <laughs> big up. <laughs> um, but no, big yeah, up, no, big I'm up gonna, the right hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna train, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I'm, this I'm there to put a show on. Do you know what I mean? So, I was in the back of a cab with Sydney going towards that. So I said to Hayes, "Just I'm on misfits," and he was like, "Oh." um, all right, if you ever want to fight, let me know. And then Sydney sort of said, oh, I'll fight on there. So I messaged him, oh, look, get Sydney shy. And that's where it all started. And then we met up with him. We had this storyline. You're going to cheat. You're going to do You're going to make a video with her. You're going to go live and throw water over. Like, she's going to throw water over you, this and that, just to gas it all up. But it did, listen, it done big numbers. You oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. You viewers oh, no. on a live stream. Like, that's mad. Yeah, no, 100%. Them numbers are mental. Like, even me, I'm sat there watching two girls have a fight thinking, in my head, I'm thinking, what am I watching? But I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, no, you're invested. Like, I'm actually yeah, fully yeah, sat there watching this video thinking, this is madness, <laughs> but I'm watching. So look, the plan, as much as HS Masterman may be backfired on you, it smashed it for them. But as again, with that, so this goes back to how me and Sydney sort of split up as well. So on the Thursday where they're supposed to fight, it got it got shut down because yeah. environmental health was that turned real? up. Was yeah, that it was actually... real. That was real. They were supposed to fight. It all got shut down. Um, so I've, I've vented online. I went, look, I saw, I saw, fuck I HS, video. I'm pissed off. Do you know what I mean? We've just turned off. I've paid for trainers. I've paid for travel. Do you know what I mean? And it, for it to all get shut down and moved along another week. Do you know what I mean? I'm supposed to be clear my name tonight saying yeah. I haven't cheated and that. Do you know what I mean? So it has, it's going to backlash me. Um, that come out. I went Island Friday with Steve on my management. Um, done content out there. We end up arguing, splitting up. Then HS has basically seen Sydney put an OF link on her Insta. They've oh, sort of she chatted. done OF without HS. What do, you, what do you mean? So as in, I thought this thing started HS. No, like, no. Signed so her basically, up to it. I pissed two people off at the same time, <laughs> and they've both come together <laughs> to fuck me over. So HS found out that we split up. He's he's found a market. He's signed her. Do you know what I mean? So he's got her along to do that picture. Fuck you, yeah. Fuck me, yeah. I'll fuck you. I'll put yeah, your yeah, bird yeah, on yeah, only yeah, friend yeah. or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So, Did he piss you off when you saw that video? No, he, t- he took the trash out. It, it's, it was rocky. I'm glad he'd done it because it, it solidified. I think that probably helped you as well because as you was moving on, that was like the nail in the coffin. Yes, 100%. Kind of because if, if we just There's argued, no back from that. yeah, if we argued and just split up, I might have ended up getting back with her. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, with yeah. that, that 
Johnny, you, you fucked me over once, that's it, that's game over, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I was like, yeah, goodbye, good riddance. Then we sort of chatted about promoting and doing a picture ourselves, in it? So, is that what you, you were going to do? It was fit, wasn't it? I saw the picture. I saw the picture. I did. Yeah, I had to sit there yeah. and think in my head about this picture. Yeah, yeah I did uh, see the picture. But no, it's my little shot back because say, I'm not. I'm not there just to be a victim, you know. So. Did Sydney know about Sphere? No. No, is in during the little break, not break, but the split up. Which when did you first announce you were seeing Sophia? Well, well, we linked up Sunday. Yeah. You lot all moved quick. Friday, Saturday. We, we've Sunday. not actually been apart since. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Do you reckon Bevo's the one? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I find it so funny though, is in like, do you know what it is? Even if you two do get together or don't stay together, whatever. He's maybe his girlfriend. Already? Wow. Okay. How did, okay. <laughs> yeah, how did, <laughs> how did that happen? When did this happen? What? The, let me guess. Monday? Over a text? No, when, when was it? It was like two days ago. When but- we were out. Yeah, for, we took, I took you out for dinner. dinner. But then, uh, dinner, dinner, <laughs> dinner, dinner. Got dinner. Um, but then last night, we done a late Valentine's because we've been busy. Yeah, I saw you was in Nando's for Valentine's. Yeah, I yeah, was thinking, yeah. that ain't really Nando's. No. That ain't really Valentine's, is it? Yeah. But no, I, um, she was out on another pod and uh, I don't know, I got you loads of balloons and yeah, flowers and I've done all the hotel cute. nice, so... So when did you ask her to be a girlfriend? Don't try shy away from that. Did you see that? You didn't ask that one. He was like, oh. It was Monday. Uh... It was when we went out for drinks. Where did we go? We've been out here, there, everywhere. We've, we've been, been going in... everywhere. Sorry. <laughs> we've been everywhere. We've been in Bath, Bristol, Southampton. <laughs> Two of the world. You're just yeah. living your life, really, don't you? Yeah, no, yeah. it's just you're, doing, you're doing well, so why not? Yeah. I Listen, I, I don't knock anyone being on TikTok or OnlyFans as long as they're doing it respectfully. Yeah. Not being a complete whore on there. Well, that's the thing. I always say, like, at least I can, like, pay my own way. I can pay for things, this, that, and the other, rather than being a girl that just relies on. Which is nice. So, with, with Sydney, I was... But I was investing in her because I knew she'd earn money. And the fact that she earned all the money and, like, we split up, it was just like, okay. Like, I went in it for the money anyway, yeah. but I was just trying to help and be a man. and which I'm happy anyway I've, I've got someone out of their job which is a lovely feeling you know then yeah. if I can do that it's great um, but yeah she just I think it all just got to her head and yeah I think, think it does right. and at the end of the day it's it's hard for it not to as well especially when you've gone from working a normal job to making money on your I phone I think it so quick with me I sort of blew up then had my downfall then blew up again so it's slowly as I say there's a saying you put a frog in boiling hot water it's going to jump out you put yeah. a put a frog in a cold bath and slowly warm it up, you're going to get used to it, you know? So, um, yeah, with her, I think it was just so soon, so quick. And with me, where I've had my ups, I've had my downs, now I'm up again. How long have you been on TikTok for in total? At the end of 2022, I started uploading my first video. It was comedy singing. Um, and I changed When you think about it, Bevo, in the last two years, you've changed your whole life. Oh, I know, it's great. Like, it's when you really deep it, you've smashed it, bro. Like, like truthfully, yeah, no, no. in two years, you've earned however much you've earned. Oh yeah, no, it's crazy. It's crazy money. And the lifestyle I can live now, I get noticed everywhere I go. The so only thing I- stood taking the pictures as well. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, only well. thing I'd say to you is, invest your money properly. Don't be stupid. No. Like genuinely, make sure you've got the right people around you. That's it. How do you plan on staying relevant though? Because like you said, one minute you're up, one minute you're down. How are you going to make sure it's you're- getting, it's, it's whether you get involved with certain people. So I could get, I could go down the HS route and get involved with him. I could go down with like Ed Matthews. Um, Management, Steve-O, Steve-O the madman. Yeah, yeah, you know he's, been, he's been in the game long time. Do you know what I mean? That's why the number one Snapchat. That's why I've signed with him because I'm looking long term. Um, so I'm going to sit down. We've got stuff coming. I've got merch coming. I'm trying to get. I've done my first YouTube vlog. Um, that's with Dan Island. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to build stuff up. I'm sitting back at the minute. I ain't doing too much at the minute because I'm just trying to evaluate the situation. You know. Um, but yeah, this TikTok pays me well anyway. I could just solely rely on TikTok. But who What's knows? TikTok paying you? You knew I was going to ask you this today. I don't want to know your, your your bank account, but what are you making a month? I'm averaging 10 grand a month on TikTok. It's great, huh? Average. If I have Plus better sponsors? Month. Or is that Pl- including sponsors? No, no, no. That's without. That's just based on views. Um, plus my nightclub appearances. How much do you get paid for an appearance? I won't tell you that one, but what? it's nice. Oh, roughly. It's nice. All right, fair it's enough. Nice. Can I take a guess? Yeah, go on. I reckon you're getting paid... For a nightclub appearance, five hundred to a grand. 
Let's yeah. just say high end, high end what you said. Okay. Yeah, it's good money. Yeah. It's good money to turn up and do oh, right, got eight to twelve, okay. Whether it depends on what nightclub, it it's depends money, where right? it is. Yeah, you know, it's just to turn up for an hour and a half. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's turn up, show your face, have a drink, and fuck off. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You no, can't, good, you can't good, complain. And yourself, what are you making? I'm making good money. <laughs> yeah. What were we, what were we talking um, about? Would we say? Well, I hit zero point zero percent of creators the other day. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what that means. I, I, I like numbers. That is numbers. That means she's only good num- <laughs> yeah. numbers. Good, good money. Um, you so making more than Bevo? I made 70k last month. Yeah, she's only a lot more. Huh? 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 <laughs> this video is sponsored by Cranbrook Law, an award-winning immigration law firm. Their talented solicitors can help when any struggles arise regarding immigration law. They can help get you the visas they need. They can help get you the staff you need from any other countries. As you can see, the website is on the screen right now. So if you need anything to do with immigration law, message Cranbrook Law and let them help you. Whether you're looking to obtain a sponsor license, receive advice and guidance in relation to compliance and our civil penalties, or take advantage of our know-how and experience across a broad range of business visas, our talented and dynamic immigration lawyers are available to speak to you. Telephone numbers on the screen, emails on the screen, and hit the link in the bio if you need any help. Raw. You made 70 grand last month. Oh, yo, Bevo, we're in the wrong business. <laughs> <laughs> Get on OnlyFans. <laughs> you made 70 grand last month. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's mad though, isn't it? I obviously have had girls on here who've made more and stuff like that, but when you think of it, your platform's not massive. Yeah, I've only I've only got like 50k on Insta. That's what I'm saying. I'd rather be. I'd rather be in her sort of position where, where my face is so big. I'm getting oh, even fuck. here walking into the studio. I know, I'm get, it's crazy, yeah. which I love. Don't big up the fans, big up the supporters. But I'd prefer to do stuff behind the scenes. I'd love to go into management or something like that and help other creators build them up. And eventually, that would be the long term when I'm 30, 40 years old. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. So you don't have got money together. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you're not you're not struggling for a few quid. No. Why Why are you in the UK? Oh, I'm taking him away next week for his birthday. Does he know where he's going? Um, between no. two. There's a couple, yeah. There's a couple of Where places. are you thinking of going? Um, either Egypt, US, or Dubai. I think Dubai's a bit too dear, though. I'm trying to... I think Dubai's. Dubai's the best out of the three. He's <laughs> making 70 grand a month. I've never been to Dubai. No, I, know, yeah, this is, I, know, I know this is going to get turned around on me now, but it's like... <laughs> We split stuff. We always fill yeah. the money. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Bevo, Bevo's the gold digger here. That's, no, that's what it is. Right. <laughs> come out. I'm like, Bevo's here for the money. Um, but yeah, no, I've always paid my way. Like because I'm so used to paying yeah. for everything anyway. I'm, and you're a man as well. You got yeah. No, I always pay for dinner. Yeah, that's stuff, what you said. You said it, it. Like obviously, it's nice having someone who. No, it, is. it must be nice going from someone stuff. who where he's got to pay for everything to having someone who can. They, yeah, they have the ability to pay for stuff. Has respect yeah. and will actually do it out of love and not. Oh, give me all your money. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that well, makes a massive difference. That's nice. Makes a massive, massive difference. But for you, what is what does the future hold for you both as a couple and as individuals? Just chilling, really. Just with life in general. Like, got quite a few things coming up. But are you going to move down here? Um, we're thinking money. Yeah, I might move up there with her. Really? In Manchester, yeah. Why Manchester? I love money. It's just sort of. It's like in between London and then somewhere Man's chill. It's just party central. It's just every day it's a party. It's it's really good for like networking. That's what. Yeah, like, all I the influencers like are it. in Manchester. Yeah. As well, to be fair. All um, the big brands as well are up there. Yeah. You're gonna move to many, yeah. You're gonna leave all the Londoners down here. Yeah, might as well. I've had enough of it. When you work in it, when I've worked here for X amount of years, and now I'm here all the time, doing certain hotels, doing like traveling to stuff like this. It's just like, it'd be nice to have a new, a, best. a new base and a new site every day. You know. So. And what if you split up? Where are you gonna go then? You gonna stay up in there? Well, I've got money, so I'll do what I want, innit? Do you know what I mean? I'm not relying on her. Do you know what I mean? So, no, I'm just saying, I'll just move out. I forgot, I forgot who I was talking to. My apologies, honestly. That sounds I'm, so terrible. No, no. That I, clip there's going to be perfect. I've got money, so I'll do what I want. I can rely on myself. You know, if I've got a dad, I need to come home, so I can go and move out. I can do what I want. So, yeah, so. And what is the future, though, for yourself? Myself. Um, like, what do you want to do? There's, listen, there's plenty of OnlyFans girls out there. Yeah. But what are Would you, you going down do? the YouTube route and stuff like that? Or Yeah, so like I've started doing like TikTok? YouTube ones. She don't I don't, like I, it. I don't, I don't think it's my don't thing. You? That's what I said to him. Like Everyone's like, oh, she wants to do this, she wants to do that. But I'm not really interested in TikTok, if I'm honest. Like, I think she's, she had, I'll do it. When but... I met her, she had six followers. Six. Yeah, because all my accounts get banned because obviously I do all the And then now... So it's like... Yeah, but you're not posting inappropriate stuff on TikTok, are you? 
Not, not, not inappropriate, so. but like even if you put like a bit of cleavage out, really? like yeah, it'll yeah. get banned. Oh raw. Yeah. TikTok's strict. Yeah, but like I ha- I've had like five accounts deleted. So when I'd met him, I didn't even have TikTok. Do you know what I say though? <laughs> Honestly, I I don't like TikTok. I, no. I, I, the app takes up so much time. Why? Week. Why don't you like it's it? It's a toxic environment. No, I like the, the app. dark side. Is no, no, no. I love TikTok as an app. Okay. But I can't create content like that. Yeah. In the sense as I can do all of this, do all the podcasts, interview people. That's easy. But actually getting my phone and creating content, I can't do it. It's no. easy though. It's easy. Can't do it, man. No, it's easy. It's easy than do editing it. all this pain. Something to edit. I'm gonna do this. Someone do this for me. I'm no, no, of course. But I'm just saying with with short term, uh, short form Full, content. It is easy and it's easy so, to go viral as well. So easy to go viral if you're willing to be out there. Little a little tip for anyone: if you actually want to get views on videos, 15 seconds max on a TikTok video. Really? Do you reckon? More, yeah. Long, long, long form content don't get views yeah. unless you're known and you. Do you, know you reckon? So then, how are you getting paid? You have to have a minute over yeah, a minute long I mean. videos. So how are you doing it then? You know, I do minute long videos. I eat, I eat dinner, dinner, I eat dinner. dinner. <laughs> so, but you think mainly for under fifteen seconds are the bangers. So yeah, so you need if you want just views and you just want the followers because you need ten k followers to get yeah, paid. Yeah, yeah. So if you're under ten k, just do ten to fifteen second clips and just viral, and then you'll get more followers. And then once you get your ten k, do your minute long videos. And then yeah, you're making you get a pound per thousand views, and then yeah, you're cooking. So. And then you're having dinner. Dinner. <laughs> Steak dinner. No, but look, it is doing TikTok now, I think for your sake as well, it's the best app in the world right now for yeah. engagement. No, we've had a chat about like it. YouTube's we? hard. Mm. YouTube's hard. You probably know you've just started, you said. It's, you, uh, it, it's just time consuming. And it's, it's just like. It's so much harder. YouTube's the hardest platform to get followers on. Yeah. Like TikTok, I think it's a lot easier to get followers on. And especially when TikTok first came out. It was a piece of piss. Mm. Like everyone was getting 10k, like it was nothing. Yeah. But now, YouTube's just a killer. If yeah. someone's got 100k on YouTube and someone's got a million on TikTok, I think that's the same. Yeah. Do you Not think? Definitely. Yeah. How many subs you got already on YouTube? I think I'm just under six thousand on YouTube. What our advice I'd give you for YouTube would be: now you're relevant and you're flying, push everyone to YouTube as much that's as you can. Me, like yeah. literally. Just push everyone towards YouTube because, like, you've got however many followers on TikTok, yeah, one point three mil, yeah. and you've only got six thousand on YouTube. That's like, what I'm saying. It's, it's crazy. so much harder. I've got more on Instagram, which is crazy. I didn't think my Insta would pop off as it did. So, how many you got on Insta now? Just under one eighty k on Insta. So it's, TikTok's the easiest, then, right? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That's because you're viral, mate. Even me, I watch your videos. I just piss myself. I sit there and I think, how the fuck is skis are eating a potato and not swallow, not chewing, <laughs> like. When I first watched it, I was actually like, I didn't believe it. No, no I swear to you, I was sitting trip. there watching it, thinking, "Nah, how the fuck's he done this? He's done, he's edited it or something." <laughs> watching it, scrolling down, is, and I'm like, "What the fuck is this guy doing?" I swear, but nah, you you found something that works for you. You have you found something that works. You're making in excess of ten oh, grand no, a month. Yeah, it's lovely. I know. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Only thing I want to say to you is, what happens when it slows down? This is why I'm trying to push out to YouTube. This is why I'm trying to push out with like all the other content. Do you know what I mean? Get with the right people. Do you know, that's why I said I'm Steve O. Um, say slowing down. I can't see it slowing down for a while yet because to say in July, no, not even like trying to blow my own trumpet. <laughs> like I've got misfits in July. It's up yeah, and who knows a hype on that. Do you know what I mean? Even before. Um, all right, let's get, get a clip for this for July. What round are you going to knock him out in? I don't know how many rounds it is. I think it's, is it three rounds normally? I think three or six. I don't know. Well, this is second round. He's he's just a FIFA nerd, isn't he? So he's just that's all he is. It's all he is. this is big up to Danny Aaron's. I used to watch you. What are you picking him up for? You're gonna have no, a fight no, with a geezer. Listen, I, I'm fair in it. So listen, I used to watch you in it. You're meant to be saying, "Yo, Danny, I'm a chin you, mate." No, like, but he's got a bit of ego though. Yeah, so you got to have the ego as well. You got to go in there ready to smash your skis up. Danny, you're getting smoked. That's better. You're not big, get- big up, Danny. Right? Like, I've got to fight with you in a few months. I'll big you up in it. Money for be there to play the next EAFC. So, jeez. <laughs> but no, yeah, no, it'd be good. It's so there for content as well. Win or lose, but I will train. I'm going to train like an animal. Good money. They're paying you well. I don't want to know how much. No, don't I can't worry. Disclose but that. they're paying you. They well. pay well. Yeah, they pay well. It's big, yeah, big yeah, brand. You got you got to push yeah. as much publicity behind that as possible. You ever going to fight? You ever gonna fight for Bevo? I said about getting her on there potentially. You yeah. said you said someone in mind. I won't say yeah, unless you want to say. I've had a few, few things with a few different people who who want it. Who want the who smoke. want it? <laughs> who, would, who would be your best? Who would you like to fight? 
I've got someone who I, I am kind of fighting. So I just, oh, you've got a boxing match lined up? Yeah. Oh, really? But it's it's under under the cards at the minute. All right, right. Are you fuck me. You're making all these women fight me. What's going on? I'm a good little scrapper, though. She's oh, really? Scrapper. I'm a Do good you little scrapper. Smash Bebop? Yeah. <laughs> Bebo was quiet during that one. He was like, shit, I've got to be quiet now. <laughs> really? That's fight, yeah? Yeah. You reckon? So you reckon whoever your opponent is, you'll smash them up? Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Have you said about this? You've got to say, I'm a new boxer. No, I no, don't know how no. to fight. What's the jab? you got to play stupid. Do you know how to fight? Yeah, I trained him when I was younger. But it's my shoulder. I've discovered my shoulder X amount of time. So everyone said. No, no. Oh, oh, no, he's got knee, surgery knee. for Oh, really? Surgery yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's profit. Um, When's your surgery? I'm waiting on, well, don't big up the NHS. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you reckon so, you're you ready in time? Yeah, yeah, July. So I'm I'm pretty going to go private and get it done. Um, you ain't got long. No, no, yeah. But listen, how can I say, when when you're not experiencing boxing, it just comes down to fitness. That's all it is. Yeah, that's what I said. Danny ain't going to knock me out. I ain't going to knock him out. It's just going to be who can last. <laughs> Yo, no, Bevo, no, come no, on, bro. He's like, come on, I, quick, bear. I need this shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to knock him Danny, out. Danny, I'm going to knock you out in two <laughs> seconds, you. <laughs> you know the rules. Is that, yeah, what? What, what did you do that for? You I mad bro. No, he was saying it when I first met him and I was like, what are the rules? Because I didn't what, have a clue. Yeah, like, like, genuine question. <laughs> what are the rules, bro? Need, what are the rules? She knows the rules now. Yeah, but what are they? You must... You must. The, the rules have changed. You actually got that tattooed yeah, on you. Proper. You mad man. I've got clothing coming out soon. I've patterned, you know the rules. So that's my saying. Copyrighted. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> patented. It's been patented. I own that saying. All right. What what, what have you got? Um... Big up Sanushi. Okay. Yeah, right. can't, can't, can't go wrong with Sanushi. And why, what are the rules, bro? Where did that even come from? It's just a saying that I used to just say, and you know the rules. It's just, <laughs> you know the rules. You know the rules. <laughs> but you where know, it's, like, it's like, you know the score. It's just, it's just a saying, do you know what I mean? It's just, I've heard other people say, you know the score. Like, and it's just, you know the rules. And people love it, but that's what gets people engaged, you know? Like, what are the rules, Bevo? Tell us the rules, this and that. But, that's what gets the comments, and that's just helped me massively. So let's tell one. Let's tell the viewers one of the rules. If no. you got to make one rule up now, what is it? No other girls. <laughs> no other girls. That's, that's your rule. That's not his rule. That's your rule. What's your rule? Come on, give us one. Eat good. Eating good. What's that? what kind of fucking rules that? Well, you wanted one. There's one. <laughs> no, but listen. Where's your favourite restaurant at the minute? Because now, listen, I'm hearing you lot are out every single night. We are. I took that duck and waffle was banging last night. Yeah, that was nice. Do you genuine question? Yeah, this is something I really need to ask. Do you taste? Yeah. Like, but you just it's you just, taste butter here. Yeah, but like it's just. It's like, yeah, it's you no... taste it when it goes down. Yeah, the more you chew, the more you taste. But I so say I'm a quick eater. I just want to get over and done with. Like I don't like sitting about waiting. It's... Do you not like to sit down, chill, have your meal, have a chat with your bird, like you know, relax? No, eat and then chill. That's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> Eat your dinner, bang, you then don't we talk can when he's eating, does he? There's no speaking wrong, no, 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 Like you're sat there chilling, eating your food. You look up, he's like, I'm done, I'm ready. <laughs> you're like, oh. Yeah, I'm done. Inhaled it all. <laughs> no, but listen, you're, 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 you must be fucked, man. Probably. You must be fucked. <laughs> I'll be dead by I'm 30. But, yeah. <laughs> he's not planning up until 30. He's gone by then. <laughs> he's just planning to, I'm making as much money as I can until I'm 30. <laughs> then. <laughs> Well, See you later. See you. Guys, have you been thinking of move to Dubai? I've partnered up with Cranbrook Legal to make your experience so much easier. Literally, I got the main man from Cranbrook Legal right now to tell you how easy it is. Guys, it's as simple as picking up the phone, giving us a call and letting us get on with the business. What, literally? One phone call? Literally one phone call, a few documents and we're there. And then I just get up, fly to Dubai, and I ain't got to pay tax no more? Yeah, but you can come and see us. We'll take you out for a meal, show you Dubai, and then it's all up to you after that. Bro, where do I sign now? Yeah. No, nah, but listen, to wrap it up, I think you've both done really well. You have, especially you're with Bevo now. You're both, you're, listen, you're making more than him. You're fucking 70 grand a month. I'm in the wrong business. How do I sign up to become an OnlyFans model? I'll send, I'll send you the link <laughs> so I get the <laughs> commission on that. As as you were, yeah, well. yeah. I, when I signed up, um, it was actually Daniela that um, got me on. So I used her like referral link so she'll get. A cut of mine as well. Really? Is that, that how it that, works? Is that from OF? The OF That's it, from OF, yeah. OF's money, so you're not losing money. No, I'm not losing money. It's so it's like money. from... Oh, Only really? Like a percentage itself. of yeah. whatever you've made, she gets? Yeah. Because it's like bad. a referral fee. So what if you sign up like 20 girls? 
and they're all making like loads of money, yeah, do you, you get a get, percentage of all of them? You get the percentage. Oh, you don't even need to do it if you just sign yeah. everyone up, wouldn't you? Yo, that's a good business, you know. I mean, it's not like a huge like percentage. Yeah, but still, let's but say you've got 100 girls, good, it's 100%, yeah. even if it's 1% per girl. But it has to be like the set up their account from there, which a lot of girls already have OnlyFans. Yeah, every, every what do you everyone think has OnlyFans. But I'll be real, yeah. Everyone does OnlyFans. Yeah, though. it's the new like Instagram. Like, ev- and the thing is, well, what I say, what I say to boys as well is, there is no legal job a man can do that competes with OnlyFans. No. Or like, eat, eat, no matter how big you get on socials, you're never going to be making a hundred grand a month from <laughs> yeah, crazy from money. TikTok. <clears throat> like, it's crazy money. That's mad. Have you invested your money wisely? Nah. Bought a few handbags. <laughs> no, this. I'm not really a material kind of person. I'm more like experience wise, if that makes sense. So like I'll go on like loads of holidays, like just, just enjoy my life, life you it? know what I mean? Um Fair. I'm just quite a chill, chill gal. Well, not really, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, I think big props to you both, especially you Bevo, man. You've smashed the game. You're you're doing your thing. Oh no, we're getting there. You're, you're, you're big up the Fuck knows what you're big, big up, up the blue tick show. <laughs> big up the blue tick show. <laughs> you know the rules. No, listen, you smashed it, bro. And honestly, it's been a pleasure having you on my Thank show. Thank you. Um, I just want to say good luck with the situation with Sydney. I don't know what's going on there. No, so I've got no bad blood. If she wants to bring stuff up in the past, that's up to her. And it, that's maybe, just... only thing I'll say out there, maybe we do a Sophia versus Sydney. I'd bang her out in the first two seconds. Of the thing. <laughs> I, I don't think... I, I, no, but like honestly, like I felt bad when I was see, like watching it. As yeah, well. no, I felt it terrible. Was like, it was like a deer, I saw there's a video of you saying, "Yo, I was saying, stop cut it, it. Just yeah. stop because it, like when she's getting smashed up and where she can only see out of one eye as well. And when... yeah, oh, so she can actually nice. only see out of yeah, one eye. Where, yeah, so I don't, I don't mock anyone, but yeah, like, of course not. But like, that... yeah, she can't oh, see. Wow. She can only see like blurry colours yeah. and stuff. She can't see out of that eye. So you reckon you smash her up? Yeah, I but like, you. I want, I want it's, it's just not... Really? I want like, even I said that I'd, I'd feel too bad. But if she calls her out? No one now. Because she won't... She, Sydney don't want to fight again. She won't fight again. I know she won't. But if Sydney calls her out, you have to let her. No, I wouldn't. Let her. It's just... I'll <laughs> yeah, be real with it. Do what you got to do. I'll, I'll, be, I'll, do. Be, I'll be honest. That's, that's the dark side of TikTok. Yeah. I just don't... I don't want to be a part... I want to I want to be up there. I want to be... But do you know what it is, bro? I'll be honest with you as well. To stay in the top relevant and being the main you've got to be part of it as well that's why I want to be what, like you've got Danny Aaron you've got Angry Ginge you've got all yeah, them sort of yeah. you know I mean they're killing it I'll be real like fair play to them Like that's where I want to be like whether I get into the streaming game or do something would you start streaming I reckon I, you've got big potential streaming I, I've done it on Twitch and I'll be real like I'm not a big gamer so I've done it more for the money and it weren't really enjoyable do you know what I mean so I didn't really earn a lot on Twitch so I've done that GTA RP which was yeah, fun I enjoyed I've done that as well but yeah, it's long fun. Oh, it's, and they take it too serious as well. Yeah, I like, remember I shot some geezer. <laughs> they put me in prison for like 100 hours. Stop it. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I was like, yeah. mate, you gotta take it. It's just a game. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, I'm, I'm talking to the policeman now, yeah? I'm not sure if you know GTA RP, yeah? So anyway, long story short, this guy was doing a little drug deal, whatever. Pretend I've robbed him of it, obviously. <laughs> like, you gotta have fun, innit? Yeah, I'm not gonna yeah, actually yeah. be like, yo, yeah, thanks, mate. Big up you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled out my gun, robbed him, took it all. Police all come, arrest me. Put me in prison, and I'm like, obviously, like, yeah, like, haha, funny, mate, like, let me go, fuck off, kind of thing. And he's like, this is serious. You know? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm in my head, I'm thinking, like, bro, are you being like, come on, man, like, let me just play the game. Still, like, fuck. <laughs> and he's like, you're being sentenced to this, that. They put me in prison for a hundred hours, okay. but like real life hours, not in game. Yeah, and you like, have to sit there. You can't, yeah, you can't close the game. You have to yeah, sit there. For you have like, to sit for in the cell, walking hours. around for a hundred. Like, the crazy. fuck am I gonna do for hundred hours? That like four days walking around like a madman. Friends were coming in my house. Like, what you did? Just having a fight in a prison cell, mate. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm just having a scrap. <laughs> nah, but GTA role play is long, long. But I reckon you do well at it. I reckon you would smash. Might do. It depends if. Or even if you just do like, what about streaming? Like kick. I, I was yeah. speaking about kick. Um, because our life's like a movie anyway. You know what I mean? Where we're yeah. And then no, that's what we just hire a cameraman just to follow us Have around. Have someone and... with you 24-7. Yeah, pretty much. Well, not 24-7, yeah. but... <laughs> Why not? She can. <laughs> she's still there 24-7. It's no problem, mate. What are you talking about? <laughs> She'll be like, yo, yeah, be my way out there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, but listen, bro. Honestly, pleasure having you both on Thank the show. Thank you very much. Thank Look you. forward to seeing you both again. Keep smashing it. And next time, hopefully, you're making more than her. One day. <laughs> one day. We'll Get see, there one we'll day. See. But listen, thank you. Guys, if you enjoyed it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And go look at both their TikToks and crack on. I'll see you soon.